Good morning everyone and welcome to Diamond Hills. Pope Francis has issued his toughest condemnation of the invasion of Ukraine by Russia, saying that unacceptable armed aggression must stop. Speaking to thousands of people in St. Peter's Square for the Sunday blessing, Pope Francis said the killing of children and unharmed civilian is barbaric and had no valid strategic reason. He called the besieged city Mariupol a martyr city and again appealed for truly secure humanitarian corridor to allow residents to live. According to the pontiff, he said, in the name of God, I ask you, stop this massacre. Pope Francis declared to Vladimir Putin and Russia, stop this massacre. <laughs> A word is enough for the wise. Stop this massacre. Stop this killing. Stop this destruction. But... Uh, like a deaf man that is doomed for destruction, I know Vladimir Putin might not heed this advice uh, and justify the means. I know at the end of the day, nobody commits such a crime that Vladimir Putin is committing now in this world that has ever gone scot-free. It has never happened before and it won't happen now that somebody for no good reason in, invade a sovereign country, begin shelling, killing innocent people, killing thousands of civilians, killing children, destroying infrastructures that take years to build, take billions of dollars to put in place for no good reasons, taking of lives recklessly with reckless abandon <laughs> stop the massacre that is what pope francis said and we are watching the events as they are unfolding and at the end we will see how it plays out <laughs> uh, it drives us back to the ages where one of those dictators said, Power emanates from the barrel of gun. Hmm. Power corrupt and absolute power corrupt absolutely. Stop the killing, stop the massacre. That is the voice of Pope Francis. Voice of the people is also the voice of God. Till I come your way next time, we'll see how it plays out. We'll see maybe Vladimir Putin will listen to the voices of reasons, voices of wisdom, voices that knows what happens in the future. It is left for him to lay his bed the way he wants to lie on it in the next few, two, three years. He would, he would never be the president of Russia for life. A time for reckoning, a time of justice is coming. And everyone will see it. Till I come your way next time, this is Diamond Hills. We hit the nails on the head, irrespective of whose ox is God. That is what we do. Have a nice day. Bye.